Hey guys, I wanted to discuss this since long time that I'm seeing these ads about PG in cloud computing and they are charging about 80,000 or 1 lakh or in the terms of dollars around $2,000 or $1,500 or $1,000 whatever and you're gonna get a PG certification right or PG certificate that a so and so institution has certified you as you have prepared or you have studied or you got a PG in cloud computing. Now what's confusing to me is that when you are preparing for cloud and when you do a certification on Google Cloud or AWS, so that has more value than a PG certificate that you get from some unknown institute or you know some institute that took a lot of your money. So, but still why would people do a a PG in cloud computing and pay such huge amount. Do let me know in the comment section if you have, uh, you know, other thought process around it. Because what I prefer you to do is that whenever you're preparing for cloud, always go for Udemy or YouTube or Azure based training or AWS based training or GCP. They have a lot of training and they're investing a lot of money into the training to teach a lot of you guys to get into those clouds. So that's pretty much free and Udemy is also sort of free because most of the time you have a lot of uh, offers that that uh, gets you a course for 500 rupees or you know five dollars or ten dollars or fifteen dollars max. The same applies with Plural Site because you go to Plural Site, you subscribe, and then you get lots of videos, tons of content uh, for very less money when compared to a PG course that lasts for eleven months, and then you have to pay like a tuition fee. So that's one thing. And the second most important thing is even let's say you are planning to go uh, and take a PG uh, from some institute that I see a lot of famous ads these days, some Texas based collaboration or something. You don't know who is teaching in those institutes. And uh, as opposed to Udemy or Pluralsight because the instructor has a review system and a lot of people reviews direct reviews uh, to the course. And that way you will see at the bottom how good the instructor is or how bad the instructor is and based on that you pay money. So the whole system is in a way that it is more friendly for students to prepare to learn uh, cloud or uh, DevOps and you have you, you, you have YouTube also if you are like self learned or self motivated person who can research the contents and then prepare yourself your own curriculum to to study and that's what I would recommend you all to do but don't spend a lot of money on learning cloud computing or DevOps from the PG because these certificates have no value. Even if it's from IIT or if it's from a good US university that doesn't have more value when compared to the actual vendor certificate. So that's all I wanted to share in this video because I don't want you guys to waste your money whenever you're looking at these ads uh, because I always feel that with the amount of content that is there available on YouTube and Udemy and a lot of other sort of online institutes I would call them because they have optimized the system so that they don't have to take a lot of money from you and focus more on practicing and as well as getting a vendor certificate when compared to a PG certificate from some random institute. I hope this video makes sense to you all. Uh, let me know in the comment section if you feel like I'm, I'm saying something wrong or uh, you feel like PG courses are still more valuable than Udemy or Pluralsight. Um, I would like to hear your thoughts and uh, do share this video with a lot of people who are, you know, learning cloud for the first time. Thank you. Bye.